are Ham Radio. Welcome back, everybody. It's Freddie Mac, your Ham Radio Crusader. This is for you, Mike. Pigs in space! Pigs in space. Anyway, update. I did find the programming software for this, the Hiroyasu IC980 Pro. And it's available at this link, which comes from my website. I don't have it on the page yet, but the link works. You can download the programming software. I'll update the website as soon as I can. Things are moving kind of fast around here. It's spring break, and I'm babysitting more often than I thought I was going to be. It is what it is. So, nonetheless, I want to run through the software with you real quick. This one's a little different. Not a lot different, but it was totally unexpected. So, here's the one thing you need. As you've noticed on the radio before, it has a USB-C socket in the back of the radio. Not far from the cooling fan on the opposite side of the fan from the SO239 connector. Get yourself a USB-C data cable. Not a USB-C cable that just charges. You want a USB-C data cable. Basically, it has all the connections from end to end so that it can transfer data and power. Turn your radio on. Plug the USB-C into your computer. I'm using Windows 11. Worked first try. Plug it into the back of the radio, and you should get some kind of tone indication. No COM ports showed up in my device manager under Windows. This part blew my mind a little bit. So let's jump over to the software. As you can see here, this is what it looks like when it's open. The software is called SF-8118. I believe that this was a version of the radio before it became the Hiroyasu. Uh, I'm almost positive it's been rebranded from another name. I'll put on the screen if I find it again. But this is what it looks like when it opens. And I thought, okay, where do I pick the COM port at? This is a new, this is open, and this is save. This is read from radio. This is write to radio. These don't get labels because these are language choices. Now, when I opened it, I believe it was in Chinese. So all I did was hit that English button and everything, boom, in English. So I thought, well, I'll hit this adjustment. And I'm like, okay, what is this? That's a freeform text field. And I can hit okay or cancel. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to say ch cancel. So I canceled that because I'm like, well, there's no COM port in there. Language, okay, edit, write, read, password. I don't wanna I don't wanna set a radio password. So I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna read from the radio. And boom, it read from the radio. It even spelled success correctly. And you hear the radio reboot. And these are the channels I was able to put in. If you remember, if I said earlier, when I did the master reset on the radio. It erased all the memory channels, and I mean all of them. And I don't know why, but I mean, you know, janky firmware is janky firmware. But then I programmed it. Let me see if I can get a camera set up real quick, and I'll show you what it looks like. Here's the front of the radio. If we can zoom in on that a little bit. Right now it's in VFO, so I can put it back in memory. That is my first channel. I just named it my all-star node number. So let me switch to push and hold the exit key get you up to the top VFO, push memory on it. That is my repeater in Preston, Oklahoma. The dummy load that I'm on will not allow me to hit that from here. And I have the microphone in, and I can channel up and down right here on the face. There's the N5DRW repeater in mounds. That one's in mounds, same guy. That that is the sheriff's office repeater so it will transmit outside of the amateur and gmrs range these are other repeaters in the area this is my home all-star node which the transmitter is off right now and the courthouse gmrs repeater uh repeater in preston i wish this power meter that you see showing up that's blue white and red would be under each vfo as it were but you know you pay 48 bucks for a radio or whatever it was, and this is what you get. So, there's a button on top. The buttons on top of the microphone will switch me pretty easily between the VFOA and the VFOB. The up and down arrows on its face will switch me between the other repeaters. That's GMRS repeater or two in Sepulpa, Oklahoma. I can't hit them from here. But it will also let us try the... If you hit the... VFO memory channel again you get the channel number the channel label and the frequency 
I can switch down to the B and do the same thing. That's channel one, that's channel two. Now, I'm going to quickly, let's go back to the software. Let's read the radio again. We've got a tab right here. So right up here, you've got channel information tab and you've got optional features. Now I had to come in here and do some tweaking and I had to put show channel name here. But we also have this single frequency mode. Let's try that out and see what happens. Let's write it into the radio. You can see I put a, I put a uh, custom boot up screen on there. And this is what this is what the single frequency looks like. You, it's on B. I wonder if we can switch it to A. And we can push and hold the exit button, or you can hit the A B keys on the microphone, and you can just do one channel at a time. That's not horrible. Let's do this. We can see just the frequency just the label or the freak the channel number the label and the frequency and you can also see the the ctcss tone that's right there i wish they'd put a plus minus in there because that's vfo when i key it up it does go to 449 so it is doing its five megahertz separation interesting so let's go back to the programming software if I can find my mouse and we can go back to optional features we can change that back to double frequency lock in channel mode I'm not sure what that is yet and I'm not sure I want to mess with that just yet now you can turn the menu on or off you can turn the key beeps on and off and that's double watch if I enable that the ticking will continue and I don't want to do that uh, you can set your Vox gain, your home channel, your Roger Beeps. Oh, I promised someone we'd hear what the Roger Beeps sounds like. So let's go to Roger Beep 1. Actually, let's see if we can do this from the menu. I think we can. There it is. Here's one. MDC 1200 Tone Burst from Motorola. Sounds just like it. Don't know that it's exactly the same, but it sounds just like it. Let's see if I can turn that up some more. Let's just make this ridiculously loud. Here's off, here's one, here's two, here's three. Yeah, nice and annoying. Thank you, Roger Beep. I like that one myself, because I'm used to it. And there it is, turned off. Home channel, AB switch, double, double watches that do a watch. That'll cause the clicking to return, or the ticking, I should say. I've dubbed this radio the TikTok radio, because it can TikTok. <laughs> oh, whatever. Ketones sounds so much better turned off denoise is uh, uh noise level can noise cancellation maybe i don't know lamp control is always on or it is goes off in so many seconds so let's set it for five four three two one maybe it's got to be out of the menu five four three two one And it goes off. A little bit longer than five seconds, but it is what it is. Push the PTT. Nothing comes back. Push the function button. And it all comes back. So we're going to go back to set. And we're going to find that lamp feature. Lamp control. Yeah, if it's a mobile for me, uh, I'm leaving it on. Unless I get into a situation where I need to conserve some battery. But yeah, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Let's jump back to the software one last time. Uh, if I can remember where I put it. And we've got, uh, you know, this is VFO A and VFO B. You can set those two. But you're going to do your memory channels over here. And I can't tell you um, how many we can actually put in there. But I'm going to say it's around 200. Oh, well, it looks like it's 240 channels. And as you can tell down here, it does UHF from 400 to 470 and VHF from 136 to 174. And in the memory channel, 
I don't think you can, uh, you've got to be able to put them all in here. Transmit, or see, receive, transmit. You can put in your CTC SS tones here. Decode and encode. Oh, yeah, you can do digital as well. You can do high or low power, only two settings. You got narrow and wide band. You can add it to a scan list. Busy channel. They call it busy inhibit, but it's busy channel lockout. A special DCS tone, which may be a non-standard. I'm not sure. There's three settings. Compander, which for that to work, both radios have to be set for Compander, and it can really mess with your audio. So unless you know what you're doing, I wouldn't even bother with it. Here's a scrambler. Hams don't use scramble frequencies, but this radio has eight settings for a voice scrambler and then the name which is the channel label optional features don't know where those special dcs tones come in at but the right here is where you can set that power on message the first two will be in big letters this right here will put it down in the lower right hand corner if i'm not mistaken let's power cycle that radio and find out again yeah KD5 FMU was in big letters. Freddie was just under that, centered in smaller letters, and Mac was in the lower right hand corner in very small letters. Their format, not mine. There's a Roger Beeps. You can turn that off. Change the langu language from Chinese to English. You can set a home channel. I don't know how you initiate a home channel unless it's a power on thing. This right here is very important. Microphone. In hand or device host. If it's in hand, it's the external actual microphone. This one here. If it's device host, if it's device host, it's this little mic right here. And I'm telling you, this thing has very little gain. So your mouth is going to have to be up against the radio or you're going to have to be shouting for anyone to hear you. Uh, da -da 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 -da, denoise, which I believe is some kind of noise inhibit. You got your Vox, Vox Gain. And it's very standard. I mean, it does work. If anyone knows what this adjustment does or means or whatever, please put it in the comments and let me know. I am so curious. It's not even funny. And of course, there is no help file. If you hit about, it just tells you you got version 1.0.0 of the software. The SF8118 radio programming software, but it works on the Hiroyasu IC980 Pro from AliExpress. All right, folks, there it is. More tests are coming. Very special. We're going to, well, I'll just let it be a surprise. But more, more video coming on the Hiroyasu IC980 Pro. Hey, this is Freddie Mac, your ham radio crusader, wishing you seven threes, hoping all the good signals to be yours, and... Ham on, y'all.